Um, this is a quick video to act as a reminder for the disassembly for a Sunpak 500 series, I guess. The 522s and the 524s, I believe, are constructed similarly. This one happens to be a, what is it, a 522. Um, this one is trashed. Probably a few useful parts in there, but we're going to try to go through this in reasonable, deliberate speed. So the first thing you've got to do is there's a adhesive, uh, probably a thermoset or a, you know hit it with heat gun to get this disc off the bottom, uh, which will reveal a couple of screws which you can remove. Um, the capacitor which is inside is pretty well glued in, so don't expect that to come out. Um, the back half should separate once you've got those two, plus the screws that are exposed when you rotate the head um, up and 45 degrees, I'm sorry, 90 degrees. So there's a pair um, there, under there, and under there, and under there. Those are attached to a metal frame on a PCB inside. Um, this thing is an absolute beast to disassemble. So with those, one, two, three, four, five, six screws removed, the back half should begin to come off slightly, at which point you can remove the head. Um, the head has this uh, rotating bracket here. There's a disassembly process for that, but note that the head once off will sort of be hanging out. You gotta rest that somehow. And then you'll then be able to pull the back off slightly. You'll have to remove I believe it was two screws holding this uh, sub card, uh, this sub assembly. Uh, so there's a, a card of electronics that faces the back holding the switches and uh, high voltage in and the test. Um, you'll have to get the back off enough to then remove those two. Then this piece will actually come completely away at which point it is another total nightmare to sort of tease out the internal components. Um, the auto the auto assembly is this crazy mechanical uh, apparatus that lives kind of in the dial and then up to this roughly quarter of, um, of the head that can kind of lift out and come out gently as can the manual selector so those are sub assemblies they're wired to the internal boards there are two boards that live roughly in the middle and face in this plane um, so one is a, a board that goes all the way down into the handle the other is a sort of a side side board connected to that one a second board um, those do slide out, but again, the, the array of wires is just ludicrous. Um, you've got to really watch where all these things are routed because there's there's almost no rhyme or reason to the um, the way the wire routing goes. So you've got you've got to really be careful as you open it up, um, watching which way something passes if it goes around a board, behind a support, etc. Make a note of that as you're opening it up. I didn't do a very good job of that the first time, um, which didn't help matters. Um, the neck has a permanently um, soldered in uh, wire harness that goes from a small daughter card up here. So there's a uh, some kind of a capacitor um, which goes to the flash head. There's, let's see, one, two, three wires from the high voltage two wires from the DC, the, the nine volt uh, pack. So a total of five wires going down through this circular. I'm gonna peel this back so you can actually see. There's this circular, semicircular piece which is attached uh, at the neck, roughly above this, I'm sorry, below this. Um, and that acts as a junction point for the wire harness in the head and the wire harness in the body. If you want to separate that from the body, there's no way around either cutting or desoldering this guy. Um, so that's that's necessary for in-depth repairs or replacement. 
Um, I've got this brown and white set of leads soldered on for the six volt pack. That didn't seem to work, but maybe another time. <sighs> Generally, there's there's lots of little spots where you got to watch out for hidden fasteners. Um, so there's there's a pair of hidden fasteners on the this is this is the bracket for the head. There's a pair of hidden fasteners here. There's a fastener behind this. I, I made an artificial hole right there. So if you want to get the head pivoting off, uh, there's a whole assembly for both of those. Um, what else? The, the only really nice thing about this system is that the flash head comes off by um, opening the battery door up. There's a button on the bottom, which I believe, yeah. So you'll be able to access this button to push down and kind of separate it a little bit. While that's separated, you flip it over with the battery door open. If you push on these two tabs, you can slide the flash head off carefully. Um, once you do that, you, you'll have access to the bare xenon bulb um, and you'll begin to get access to the internals of the battery pack and so on. Generally speaking, it is an absolute beast. Um, I would recommend breaking one if you want to get to know these things at all. Um, you're not going to have much luck, I suspect, unless you've got a lot of experience with really, you know, 1970s, 1980s complicated electronics that are packed down into crazy volumes. Uh, I'm going to watch this and see if I have any further notes. Good luck.